Hello. Um, this is a demo about db 2 uh, database uh, compar comparison to Oracle uh, data converted by Aspire tools. So, first of all, I would like to mention that this is just a supporting tool for uh, providing a comparison for uh, DB2 and the Oracle databases when they are converted by a SQLways wizard tool. So we've got a SQLways comparator that you can see on your screen that helps you in checking whether the data is uh, was converted correctly or no. So uh, there, is, there is a set of specific options that can be used for this comparison. I will show you them. So all you need to provide is the ODBC connection to your db 2 zetos Oracle. Uh, on the comparison options page, you need to specify the source HEMA name that uh, from which you were extracting the objects in db2 mainframe the target schema name to which you uh, converted the objects a comparison template for objects that you are going to compare uh, it, when you specify a star it means that you are going to compare all the objects in this humans in source and target uh, there's also option table list file that lets you specify the list of tables that you would like to compare. This file must pro, uh, have contain information about the name of the table and sub subsequently on the next row or next rows you need to provide the columns which you will be using as a, uh, sorting common columns for the data. So uh, that is why actually if we make an automatic, automatic comparison, uh, our tool uses primary keys or unique constraints. Uh, this is just to be sure that uh, the exact matches of rows of data are compared between each other. Also, we've got a map mapping file option. This is a SQLways XML file that contains mappings for identifier names, for, for column names, for example or uh, data type uh, mappings and uh, or table name mappings and uh, using this file our compar comparison tool uh, can identify for sure which table must be compared to which table in source and target if the table name has been changed then by providing this mapping file you help our tool to understand which name should be in the target database otherwise it will uh, be searching for the same uh, table name in the target database and it might not find it if it had been changed before the uh, comparison also we have a comparison options and you can see uh, there's a default by table names option that uh, compares the uh, tables by their names and provide statistics which tables are missing in source and which tables are missing in the target database. Also by table column count, uh, in, per each table it counts the number of columns and provides the, uh, the, whole, the full statistics for the number of columns in uh, uh, the source database, the number of columns in the target database for each table that has the same name in both source and target. Then by table column names, the same feature. By table column times, the same feature. And so it just uh, checks the names, uh, column names and column times in both source and target for, for table name, uh, tables with equal names. Uh, then we can we go to a second part of options. Uh, the tables are, uh, so this is a, like a uh, more devoted to uh, rows of data options and here you can see by table row count that means that uh, it will uh, compare the number of rows of data in both source and target uh, tables with the same names by table primary key values so it with this option it identifies uh, the primary keys um, in which columns are used as primary keys in both source and target database uh, for 
uh, the same for the tables with the same names, and uh, then uh, compare the data in this primary case. And also, there is a last option by table data. Uh, this will uh, this option will allow to compare the whole row of data in both source and target databases for the tables with the same names and with primary keys inside. Okay, so uh, we selected all the options just to show you how it works. Uh, on the export options uh, page, you need to specify the export directory where all the statistics files will be generated and provided to you. There is trace level option. Uh, this trace level is required, uh, so the highest is 4. So this is a trace that uh, contains uh, uh, more information than any other um, trace level. So you can specify 0 if you don't have any issues at your site. If you select 4, this can help us, uh, our developers, in helping you with some uh, issues in comparison tool, if you have them. Also, there is show summary page uh, option that you can specify to see the actual commands that our tool, the SQL Waste Comparator Wizard, uh, uses. And here is the uh, summary page. Here you can see the command line for making, for uh, maintaining this comparison. Uh, because actually, the SQL Waste Comparator Wizard is just uh, graphical uh, wrapper for a comparison tool that can be run in batch mode. Okay, let's compare both DB2ZOS and Oracle. You can see the results screen, the whole uh, comparison status here. Okay, it's finished. Now let's click next and we can see what we actually have here. Uh, so the first tab is a common report that uh, contains information about the tables that uh, exist in the source database but doesn't exist in the target database. The same for target database. Then you can see uh, a table summary information that there are tr only three equal tables. Those that we've actually converted using SQL Waste Wizard. And there are differences with five tables in the target. Uh, how many uh, actually tables in source and target? 15 tables in source and five tables in target database. Also, we can go to a row count stage. Here, uh, all the tables that were equal, we can see the statistics regarding the number of uh, rows of data in uh, both source and target tables. And you can see all of them are equal. Then column count stage. You can see for all those three tables, all the column names are equal. Column, uh, all the number of columns is equal. By column names, so the names are equal for those three, three tables. By column type, uh, the, the problem here is that uh, actually there are differences because of the uh, different names uh, of the types used in both DB2 and uh, Oracle databases. So, like workar has been converted to a workar2, uh, integer values are converted into number values, so uh, number data types. So, you can see that uh, there are differences. Also, primary key names are compared, primary key values are compared, and you can see they are equal in both. Uh, source and target and table data. These are uh, this is a whole row of data comparison. Uh, by the way, I need to mention that large objects data are not uh, compared in our tools. So uh, only uh, simple data types are compared, like uh, timestamp, uh, number, character values, and etc. But not uh, lobs. Let's go to second uh, tab. Actually, there are second and a third tabs that show you the list of the objects in a source table, uh, source database, and in a target database. 
that are not in uh, other databases. So the list of source objects that are not present in a target and vice versa for target. Then uh, the number of rows. Uh, you can see the full statistics for the number of rows of data in both source and target. You can see that they can be uh, quite quickly uh, compared in these uh, two tabs uh, because if the value is different it it will it is shown here you can just click one and click second and can see that uh, something is different here now the column count differences the same way as for row count you can see column counts are the same now the column names if there were any differences in the column names uh, in both source and target databases, these differences would have been depicted here. Now the column types. And you can see that the column types are different in both source and target. And all these differences are provided here as well. Okay, so these are the reports that you can see using wizard. But now Let's go to the export directory for our comparison tool. And here it is. And can see what are the actual files generated by our tool. And first uh, that I would like to mention is a comparison report. This is the same as we have seen in the SQLways uh, comparators wizard. The report XML file. This file, <clears throat> this file provides the statistics regarding the uh, in a table form regarding each table, and whether there are any differences or no. If no differences, then no is used. If there are differences in both source and target, then yes is provided. So per each uh, option that we have in our tool, you can see. No differences or yes, there are differences. You can see column types are different. Actually, we've seen this in the uh, report. Then uh, there are all the files that show you the differences. Uh, all of them you can see in the wizard. These are the uh, pairs of files for table list, for column counts, for column names, uh, for column types comparison, for primary key column names, and uh, list a row count, uh, for row counts comparison. And also for each table, if there are any differences for data, we can see a pair of files for source data and target data that is missing in both source and target, depending on the differences in both databases. Okay, so as we've got no differences, so all the files are empty here for the data comparison. You can see they are all zero kilobytes. So we need to add some differences in order just to show you how they are depicted in our tool. So I've got an Oracle system, target Oracle system that uh, has been used with the Sequoia wizard to make an import of our three tables into this uh, server. So we have a table. Uh, you can see it here. With five rows of data. Oh, let's make something with uh, this data. Let's, for example, delete the first row. Okay, one row is deleted. Let's commit the changes. Commit it successfully. Let's see how this first row is depicted in our comparison tool. Let's make a compare. So oh, everything is equal, you can see here, but the information is not equal. Let's see the report. Uh, the, here you can see the um, difference in 
uh, rows count, you can see five here and four here. So in target database, we have only four rows of data now. Uh, the rest are equal for uh, in the wizard. Now let's go to the comparison report. And here we can see that the text file provided for data comparison for source contains a row of data that is missing in the target database. So the target is empty. Uh, target text file is empty for this column, for this table. And there is one row of data in the source text file. So this means that this row of data uh, is not in the target database. Okay, that is actually what we've done. We removed this information. Now let's uh, check how this uh, difference is reported in our XML file. And you can see that actually, yes, a number of uh, rows of data is different. Primary key value, so the data in primary key, also differs because we don't have this row in the target database anymore. And the data itself, or all the data uh, for the whole row is different. And we can see this depicted in this table. Okay. So uh, this is actually how uh, the comparison tool works. You can see it's quite simple. It can connect using ODBC connection to both source and target database, to a db 2 zetos uh, database, or any other mainframe like AS400, or just into DB2 Linux Unix Windows version, and to Oracle database at the same time, and extract information and compare it uh, between each other. But just lobs, uh, large objects are not compared. And actually, we can add such feature, but as uh, per your request. So if you require such features, so we can uh, try adding it to our comparison tool and provide it to you to support a full uh, result comparison for tables. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.